Welcome to EPN. My name is Victor Lucas. We bring you the latest in everything cool every single day around here. And you know, there are always lots of cool things going on in games, entertainment, and tech. That's why we put them all together in a great little segment we call The Rundown. Let's get started. The DC Universe is hitting the reset button once again. The comic book company has announced that all of their biggest heroes are getting a fresh relaunch this summer, starting from scratch with issue number one. The new lineup is called Rebirth and will feature all of the best DC characters, including Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Superman, and yes, Batman. Chief Creative Officer Jeff Johns promises that Rebirth will bring the characters back to their roots, admitting that some of the more recent books have lost touch with what made them great in the first place. This obviously isn't the first reboot for the DC Universe. The last reset was just five years ago with the introduction of the new 52 lineup. But unlike that, Rebirth won't be replacing all of the existing lineups. DC will still release new issues in the Detective Comics and Action Comics lines, and both of those are nearing issue 1000. Rebirth begins with a one-shot special hitting shelves on May 25th. Fans can expect plenty of new adventures from Fallout and Skyrim developer Bethesda Softworks. Speaking at the recent DICE Summit, Bethesda's creative director Todd Howard revealed that the studio is currently working on three unannounced projects. He didn't give too much away, but says they're different from anything they've done before while still being Bethesda-style games. Let the speculation begin. Bethesda is best known for delivering in-depth first-person RPGs with massive open worlds, although they have branched out recently with mobile games like Fallout Shelter and by publishing titles like Dishonored and the new Doom. Hopefully one of the three games is a new Elder Scrolls adventure. Apple is gaining new allies in its fight with the US government. Earlier this week, Apple CEO Tim Cook refused to abide by a court order forcing them to help the FBI hack into an iPhone, saying it would create an unacceptable security breach that could be exploited by hackers in the future. Now Google CEO Sundar Pichai has publicly backed Apple, saying that requiring tech companies to hack into their own devices would set a troubling precedent. Facebook and Twitter have also weighed in on the side of Apple, saying they'll continue to protect their users' data from security breaches, although it's worth keeping in mind that they'll voluntarily sell some of that user data to advertisers. We'll have to wait and see if Apple is able to reverse the court's decision. PS4 gamers will soon be able to smite down their opponents. The free-to-play mobile game Smite is heading to the PS4 following its release on the PC and Xbox One last year. The game is based around godly combat, with more than 70 gods and mythological creatures from different world religions battling each other. Some people might think the concept is pretty blasphemous, so hopefully no one gets smited for real. The PS4 version of Smite doesn't have a release date yet, but it's starting a closed alpha test today, with a beta scheduled for next month. It looks like there's going to be a division among players of The Division. All the DLC for the game will be timed exclusive on the Xbox One, hitting the Microsoft console 30 days before landing on the PS4. That's according to US retailer GameStop, which made the announcement in a video with members of Microsoft's marketing team. Publisher Ubisoft has yet to release a statement clarifying their DLC plan, so it's unclear if the timed exclusivity will be worldwide or if it will extend to the PC. Timed exclusive DLC is usually the result of a deal between publishers and console makers to help drive sales of a specific system, although it's very unpopular for players who have to wait. The Division launches on March 8th. There's an open beta right now on all platforms, but you better play fast because it ends on Monday. We'll be back Monday with a brand new rundown. See you then. Have a great weekend. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.